can share a word of edification and a word of, a word of encouragement to us. Amen. I think it's always a right thing to give true listening ear. Amen. 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 Listening ear to it because you never know. Amen. If he can use a donkey. Amen, somebody. Yes. To let the man of God know that was the right way to go. Yes. We should be able to listen, amen, to another word, another, another person, another individual. Because when you turn that ear, that may be the time you needed to turn it on. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we bless God today great God of our salvation for another day, another day of his goodness. How many bless God for another day today? Amen. Truly it is a blessing and it is one more day that the Lord has blessed us. Amen. Amen. We did not do it to ourselves or nor for ourselves. Amen. Amen. It was done to us by the grace of of God. Amen. 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 By the goodness of God, here we are today. Amen. And able to, amen, lift our voices in praise and to say thank you, Lord, for this one more day. Amen. Who woke themselves up this morning? Amen. Who? It was God that woke us this morning. It was not alarm clock. Amen. It wasn't the music that rang from it. It wasn't the rooster that cock a doodle doo on it. It was God. Amen. Amen. That woke us this morning. Who put us in our right mind? God did. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He gave us our health and strength. Amen. He gave us to He gave us to be able to get up out of that bed. He could have left us there. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He could have. Well, somebody woke up and didn't get out and start walking though. Bless his name. Can I get a witness? Somebody but, uh, got up, started walking, but couldn't say good morning. Amen. Yeah. We're blessed. Amen. By the goodness of God, we are today. Amen. And I believe every day, amen, should be and ought to be a day of thanksgiving. Amen. Because God has been and is good yes. to us. Amen. Yes. Whereof we are glad today. Amen. I don't <clears throat> like making excuses. If you really know me, you know I don't. But amen. Thank God for traveling grace. Amen. Yes. Thank God for traveling grace. Amen. They are doing stuff on these three ways. Amen. And uh, we had a detour. Amen. And it was a real detour. Amen. amen. Right there at the 110. So we uh, ask for amen. Forgiveness. Because we like to be in time and on time for God's program. Amen. 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 But we thank him for safe travel as it is and was. Amen. Amen. Bless his holy name. Amen. I don't know right where right where are we? Right where we at. Sister Wilson? Right where we at. Johnson? Yeah. Yeah. We did all of that. Okay, often and everything? Oh, okay. Okay. Good. It's Father's Day. So I allow everybody to be able to go home early so they can take y'all out. I know that's right. I know that's right. Okay. Well, I will just give us a little few, a little encouraging word, okay. and we'll go on home. Amen. 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 I can definitely benefit from that. Child, you know how much I don't never get a break, Harley. Amen. 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 Lady Darby drove. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. She drove. Bless God. Amen. I, I had no problem, but I don't get that break too often. Amen. But uh, we're just thankful to God to be here. Well, uh, 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 got my musician here too. Amen. Yeah. Um, uh, mm. Let me let Mama do what she's doing. Amen. <coughs> let Mama do what she's doing. Go ahead, Mama. Uh, this morning, uh, yeah, let me tell you, all this week I have been filming. 
And I didn't have time to do no shopping, so we just put something together sure. for the men's today. And to let them know how much we love them and how much we appreciate them. So, one for a real rest, I gotta get my lady. Uh, but to let you know, I was thinking, I really wasn't thinking, but I was thinking. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mama. Uh, no, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I said, y'all, y'all follow? Y'all tell me. Y'all dad is too. Uh-huh. Okay, y'all through. Thank you, Mama. Amen. It is a joy to be a father. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll save the sermon for next week. Okay. Is that cool? Yes. <clears throat> Amen. Pastor, is that cool? Yes. Uh, but you don't want me to say something about it. Amen. Yeah. I got something about it. <laughs> Amen. I, I have something about it. Amen. Um, um, just for the simple sake of respect. Amen to God. Lord, we love you today. Lord, we love you today. Yes. Lord, we love you with our whole hearts. Yes. We love you with our whole mind. We love you with our whole spirit. We thank you for just being a good God to us that you and none other can ever be. We just bless your praise and praise. We bless and praise. We bless and praise. We bless and praise your holy and righteous name today. Because you, oh God, are good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. And your mercies and your grace yes. shall last and shall stand forever. Hallelujah. And we magnify you today for just being our God, yes. for being our Lord, for being our Savior, for yes. being our King, yes. for being our guide, for being the lover of our souls, yes. and for always never leaving us alone. Yes. We pray now, God, that you will bless, bless every heart, bless every family, bless every uh, um, um, contender, uh, um, counterpart, every family, everyone that's connected to our ministry, to our church, we pray your abundant blessings upon your people today. Lord, especially today, this being Father's Day, Lord, we, we know, Father God, you know something about Father's Day about being a father because you are our father. Yes, you are our father. You're our heavenly father. And Lord, we bless you and we thank you yes, for being the God of love that you are to us. Yes. The God of love that you have been, are right now, and shall continue to be. Yes. Lord, we pray that you would just bless us, bless every man that you've allowed to be a father. Bless every father, that every man that would want to be a father. Yes. We thank you for this day that was set aside for this, for your servants, your men to be recognized. Fill us and keep us in your love and continue to use us for your glory that we would be truly the men, the fathers that you would call us to be. Bless now this little summer and presentation that relates to God, what the Father, the love of the Father should be and is. And we pray that it will bring, oh God, continue food to our soul. Yes. That it will edify our hearts and our minds. Yes. That it will strengthen us along the way. Yes. We give your name glory, honor, and praise today. It's in your blessed name we pray and ask it all. Every heart said amen. 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 Real quickly, follow me to the book of St. Luke. Book of St. Luke. Book of St. Luke. St. Luke chapter... Uh, St. Luke chapter 15. St. <clears throat> Luke chapter 15. My daddy told me a long time ago, son, a sermon, a good sermon don't need to be long. should not be. Amen. And with that, bless God and study. I don't believe I've come across a bad one yet. Because if 
if you're talking from this book, everything in it is right. Can I get a witness? Amen. And if you read it right and study it right, then you should come out all right. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen. I'm going to cut across the field. Yeah. Amen. And we'll, we'll jump back in it next week because, amen, I was looking to kind of do that anyway. Look at God. Look at God. <laughs> St. Luke chapter 15. Um, read with me. Um, I'm not done. You don't have to read with me. Chapter 15, verse 11. And uh, I'm going to read down to verse 18. Very familiar passage of scripture. Very real, well read. Very well taught. Surely we've all heard about it time and out of time again title, the subject, the subject and the thought, the story, the parable of and about the prodigal son. He reads these words, verse 11. And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me my portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them their, his living. And not many days hence, not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there rose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And, went, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed the swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he had come to himself, say come to yourself. He said, how many servants of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against you. I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thy highest servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he had was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion, ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. God bless you. Thank you so much for the respect and your audience to the author and to the word of God. I believe this to be the word of God, y'all. And I presented to us this morning in that fashion. I embrace the word of scripture, whether it's the writer record, records before one jot or one tittle, this word shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of our God shall stand forever. And if you believe that today, just give God a wave offering and say, even this day, even this day, even this day. amen, praise God. For a few minutes, I want to lift the subject with uh, with you this morning. Very befitting for today and truly supportive to this passage of Scripture. Say it with me. I'm going to get my mind right. I need everybody to say it with me together. I need everybody to say it with me with me together and I want you to say it like you know like you're really you're saying something because you really are. I'm going to get my mind right and get back to my father's house. Amen. I'm going to get my mind right and hurry up and get back to my father's house. Yes. As I said in the beginning, this passage of scripture is very, um, very, very um, notable, very um, um, noted, it's, it's understood by many, 
even people that are not church people, people that are not saved, people that don't love God, people that don't serve God. They've heard or they know um, some perspective of about the story, the parable that Jesus told about the prodigal son. Um, many may not hold its values, many may not hold the perspective nor the real premise of what the passion of the passage is respectfully saying. However, it's a true, truly notable and very well-read passage of scripture. Not only well read and not only noted, but truly um, a story that has been uh, resounded for um, ages and time upon ages. Amen. We entreat this passage this morning real quickly um, to give respect to today and what the pullover of today is to be recognized as it's being uh, noted as Father's Day and for all the fathers to be shown love and to be shown appreciation and to be shown uh, uh, respect and to be, re be re able to be shown love this day that a man has been set aside for men Amen. All around the world, all ages that have brought someone into this world, amen, with uh, the relationship that he and the lady shared, made him a father. This day is for us. Amen. Daddy's day ain't as much as mama's day. And there's no, you know, there's no, there's no tug of war in that perspective. No, no fight, no tug of war to it. Uh, mama and mama's perspective and recognition of mama, uh, she deserves all of the accolades that she receives. Amen. And she deserves even more. Daddy's Day may not be as much related to and so celebrated synopsisly as Mama's Day, but however, thank God for Daddy. Because if not for Daddy and Mom, y'all get a witness. We ain't talking about test two. We ain't, we ain't talking. No, no, no. We ain't talking about test two, Chantel. We, we ain't talking about this new age and new wave stuff going on. Well. Talking about, thank God for Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Father's perspective and Father's position is a uh, very, very, if you really want to get to the truth about it, the perspective of father has a very acute perspective. What do you mean by that, Bishop? The acuteness that makes father's job that being acute is that the perspective of what a man is supposed to be as being recognized as a father is somewhat just as much as the woman that's recognized to be a mother for bearing a child into the world. But must I say, and I will say it, not every woman that bears a child is a mother, nor so is every man that aided a child to get here a father. Right, right. I'm going to play the field equal, Mama. I'm going to play the field equal, equal because the perspective there is that uh, it truly does take some real acuteness mm -hmm. to be a real father. Mm -hmm. To the real father, he's got to he's gotta, uh, be able to uh, uh, recognize and understand and see when dangers are about for the family, for his wife, for his children. Father is supposed to be able to be the one that, uh, uh, bless God, uh, uh, is the one that, that knows how to say no when everything is always using yes. Daddy gets the bad end of the stick. While mama and the kids are, you know, having a good time, laughing, taffy all the time, daddy has to be the bad guy. Mama, can I go, go ask you 
that. I already asked that. What did he say? He said, come back and shoot. And he do that. You know why? Because he ain't being the one have to be able to say no more than when mama don't. He has an acute perspective. Long, even along with being the head of the family. And, and, and this, this, this kind of talk may be old school because both folks going to talk about it like this, you know, because God made an order to this thing. I say God made an order. God made an order to this thing, Mommy Yvonne. Uh, and the order that God made to this thing, let me see, get back all the way to the garden. He said, uh, uh, let me make man, make man out of the dust of the ground. He looked lonely. Let me give him a mate from his rib formed woman. And there was, God made, amen, made, made male and female. Yeah. That makes a, 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 a household, a mother and a father. Can I get with this? Yeah. But nowadays, Ooh, should I step on that? Well, nowadays, amen, the order of the day ain't mama and dad. You got a whole lot more less mama and daddy than you do anything. The, the, the place of daddy has been taken away. Most because of his own self. Yeah. I said mostly because of his own self. Yeah. Right. I'm going to keep it 100. Trust that. Yeah. You know, because that's why I said what I said in the beginning. Not all mm -hmm. men are. Amen. For, amen. Five. Amen. Because he got, he, when he, when he trifling, man, is he trifling? Oh, yeah. I know y'all sisters can get an amen on, on some of that somewhere. Amen. Somebody should be clapping because I mean it's the truth. Yeah, amen. Lady Darby, she deals with it every day. Child support. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it right there. <laughs> when he wrong, man, can he be wrong? But just like he can be wrong, when he right. Man, he can be right. Amen. This passage of scripture, real quickly, talks about a real right father. I'll show y'all so real quick. This real right, this real right father in this passage. Jesus said it was a, a certain man. He didn't call his name. It's not necessary. Uh -huh. He said he had two sons. Yeah. He didn't say that name. Uh -huh. Not necessary. But what's necessary is what he did. Amen. And what happened between he and his boys. All right. Story says that the youngest of the boys came up to dad and said, Father, give me my portion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any real father, you look at what, what? Did you ask me? Hey, I'm trying to paint a picture for you, so, so work with me. Dad, sons, youngest of the sons. Daddy, I want my, I want my part. Yo, part of what? What part he talking about he want? Father, give me, as it says in the text, give me my portion that befalleth me. Sometimes these children can be a little, you know, a little too smart for their own bridges. Can I get a witness? They so they so fast and advanced now, amen. You can't hardly lay a hand on them when they do wrong. When it's right to lay a hand on them, they'll call the police on you. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. Bible said that the last day they'll be wickeder and wiser. You can't have way chest high because he'll pick the phone. He'll, yeah, I dare you to hit me. Youngest son says, Father, give me my portion. Father kind of, I'm sure it tripped him out. 
You know, huh? Your push. Oh, okay. Your push. So the Bible says that he gave unto them their part. Next thing we see, verse number 13, uh, Bible says that not many days since, younger son gathered all together his stuff. And he left and went off to a far country. And isn't that just like how Satan gets in the minds of our young people, our children, you know, get them to think that they don't need mom and daddy no more and, you know, think they, you know, they can make it on their own. They don't know, they don't know a, a nothing above a, a paper clip, but, you know, they know more than you. Amen, somebody. You know, you to live 50, 60, 70, some odd years on this earth, amen, uh -uh, with your mom and daddy and by yourself and you, they mom and daddy, but they know more than us. Telling us what to do, how to take care of it, and they, how, and they, but they know more than we do, Mama Jerry. Mm -hmm. Something to him made him think he was ready for the work. Mm -hmm. After, watch this now. After it took Daddy, he had to ask Daddy to give him his so-called part. Yeah. He ain't work for nothing. Did he work. W-O-R-K, Mike, ain't in this passage. It's not in the sentence, nowhere in it. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. But he coming to his father. I'm going to I'm I'm help you with this in a quick second. Watch and see. He coming to his daddy and asking the daddy for his portion. Daddy said, okay, gave them both their part. Next thing we see, he packed his little stuff and he gone off to a far country. And isn't that just like the devil to make them get up? They so big and they so strong, they so bad, they know so much. And then they can't just move out and get a little place down, down, you know, a couple of uh, 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 blocks, maybe a city or whatever. He had to go to a far country. Somewhere he don't even know about. But that's how the devil do you. Can I get away? That's how the devil tricked us. Amen. He'll trick up me and we can undo this all by myself. See, I, 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 I ain't got to pass. I ain't got to get to go to college. I got my high school diploma, but um, this is what I'll do for my money. I'll do DoorDash. You know, I got this little car. If I do DoorDash, then maybe I'll do Lyft too. I'm trying to tell you how you get in their mind. Are you with me? And, and, and uh, uh, I can do DoorDash and, and Lyft. And maybe, just maybe, if, if, um, 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 if I can swing maybe a Come home and sleep an hour or two, a couple hours. I might can go and do 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 um do um, um Uber too. If not Uber Eats, I can do Uber. One two, I, and I'll make some nice money. Wow. Nothing wrong with the idea of working, making your own money. Can I get with this? Man. But how many times have we told them it's a right way and a wrong way to everything? Yeah. Somebody talk back to me. Can I get a witness? And this young man was on the wrong way. Amen. Daddy gave it to him, though. I said, you, let me give you what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. And that's what the father does to us. Yeah. God, 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 God tried, he tries to, he tries, man, he tries so, uh, so earnestly, he tries to make a plan for our life. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He tries to make a plan for your life. He tries to, he tries to uh, uh, encourage you through his word. He, he tries to give you angles and directions. This, this is our road map. Can I get a witness? This is our directions. Can I get a witness? This is our Thomas God. Can I get a witness? And if we read it and see, study it by what it says and follow it by plan, I promise you it'll take us where we got Oh, you know, we got off some kind of, we so smart. Oh, I know the way. I ain't never been Oh, but I know the way. I don't need Thomas, God. I don't need the direction. Of the, as he did, then all that the Lord trying to help us with it, it just get tossed out the window. Why? Because we know we don't need no help. We don't need no direction. Took his money, took his belongings, took what daddy gave him, ran off to a far country. 
And just like, you know, we try to talk to our children when they think they're ready and they're not. Scripture say, he got to that, wild, that far country and spent all that daddy gave him in a heartbeat on riotous living. Now, I got something for that riotous living to just say. And get this, oh, he the man now. You gotta paint the picture. You gotta try to paint the picture. He the man now, mama. He 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 new man in town. Well, uh, he done rolled in there. And he done rolled in there on a, on a slick new Cadillac. He I mean he he done walked in there, pulled up in there, man, and don't nobody know him by Adam. And he walked in there, drinks for everybody. And he's over there. He ball. He ball. And he ball. And he ball. across the field. Next next verse says, but a great but a great famine came or right. he rides his living Michael, he throwing money, he throwing money, he get lap dances, he drinking, table over there. Hey buddy, you guys okay over there? Hey, hey take care of them, give them to take them to, to get take them a bottle of champagne, give them the best one. Hey you guys over there, you guys oh he just right he living it up. Then came a great famine in that land. Yes. Not so far after, Sister Miriam, now he's, watch this stuff, he, the devil, that made him spin his substance. Yes. Ain't got a dime now. Right. I'm really cutting across field. And, 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 and to show you how the insult the injury, how Satan made us look stupid, now you can't even go buy yourself nothing to eat. Amen. Let's know do all this that you were just doing a few moments, a few, you know, a few days ago. All this ball of ball you had going on. Right. And then to show insult the injury and how the devil make you look real stupid, the famine came. Famine and there ain't nobody able to, you know, food is limited. Yeah. Sources of food, the perspective of food is limited. Everybody ain't got enough, something to eat. Famine, and it said a mighty famine. Yeah. That means hardly nobody had no substance. Right. Even the people that did have, it was minimal. That's right. And look what he had to, look what he said. Look what he said. He said that famine came and, you know, he, 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 he don't squander his money. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. Verse 14. And here it go. And he began to be in want. Oh! Mm -hmm. Not you! Oh, yeah. Brother, give me my portion. Mm -hmm. Not you! Baller, baller. All right now. Set up everybody in the, in, 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 in the saloon. Not joined himself mm -hmm. to a citizen of that country and he sent him into the fields to feed the swine. I'm rushing to get this verse 16. Right here, here we go. And he would fain to eat the fain to have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. All right. And I'm rushing to get to this right here. And no man gave unto him. All the people that he was just balling with. All the people that he was just throwing money around with. All the people that he was all, and, and I hate it because I hate when my, my our kids come with that. My friend. Negro ain't your friend if it ain't us. Amen. If it ain't me and your daddy, amen, and your family. Well, that's just that is just what I'm saying. That's what the pastor scripture said. He ready to eat the pigs food. Ooh, yeah, right, right. And no man gave nothing to him. Right. Now I can imagine if I just went my you know, Ecclesiastical imagination, you know, he might have saw the bartender. 
Walk down the street, oh hey John, hey buddy, you know, hey man, you know, remember me? You know, remember me the other day? I was in the you know in your, in your saloon, man, and you know when uh, man, 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 we was having a ball, boy. You was pouring them drinks, man. That screwdriver you made me was a bomb, man. That kamikaze, man. But look, hey, check this out real quick. You know, while you walk into the bar, you know, do you think maybe I could come in there and you know bust the table? You know, I'm kind of, you know, down on my, on my funnel, but, you know, I'll get back up in a couple of days ago. Hey, man, I ain't got no, I, I can't help you. I, I, I can't help you. I, I can't help you. Oh, oh, no, okay, you know, no problem, no problem, no problem. I'll catch you back. Maybe I'll come by in another hour or two, you know, let you, you know, you know, another, hey, hey, oh, yeah, hey, Bobby, hey, man, how you doing, Bobby? Man, we had a ball the other night, man, didn't we? Oh, man, she was wild, wasn't she? Something back by the end of the week. The Bible said that no man, no man gave to him. Not all the people. And I'm done. That was with you while you was all the ball. Gave you anything. Not one that you gave to. subject was uh, let me get my mind right yeah. and hurry up and get back to my daddy's house right. verse verse number 17 identifies that fact 16 said he would want to he wanted to eat what the what the better to feel what the what the husk of the swines was eating verse 17 enter and when he came to himself and I'm done. Yes. When he came yes. to himself, yes. the reality yes. snapped back to him. When he came to himself, reality was right smack dab in his face. Not one person who we wait. What had to happen? Some folks got in, they got in right by him. Somebody say amen. When he ready to go to all, when nothing else fell, the man said, You can go out there and feed my swine. Looking down there at that food, you feed the swine, and it's garbage. You know, that's all. That's all. Swine ain't like pigs, ain't like chickens and rabbits and, you know, go horses. They don't eat, you know, hay and regular food like that. that they eat garbage. Which is why he's so pleasantly. Uh, content in the mud mm -hmm. and the dirt and the mud and the mire. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He came to himself. Yes, Lord. Man, what the is wrong with me? Yeah. Here am I, the son of a rich man, uh -huh. feeding some swine, All right. and I'm looking down. So somebody say he came to himself. I'm literally about to reach my hand down there in it and fill it in my mouth. Yeah, right. That's right. That's a hard come to yourself. Can I get a witness? Yeah. That's that shot back to reality. Can I get a witness? But hallelujah, somebody say praise God for come back. Snap back. He came to himself and he said, What? Give me my 
my part. Who did I think I was to ask you to give me my part? But you gave it to me. And daddy, I got to be honest with myself. I'm sorry that I said I wronged you. I'm sorry I disrespected you that way. I'm sorry that I did what you did not teach me. I'm sorry that I, get, I went against everything that you showed me. Son. My Lord. I'm only asking Hallelujah. if I can be one of your servants. That's, right. mm. That's really coming to yourself. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I mean, he came in himself so cold that he came back. He came back so meek and humble. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. But here we go. Hallelujah, Lord. The Father's love. Amen. The daddy knew mm. that he would be back. Real soon. How much can you say that, Bishop? The text don't say that. It says it in a very quiet perspective. If you look right there in verse, amen, number 18, he said, I will rise over at my father's house and my sin against him, against thee, and before the no more were to call that son. And he arose and came back, 20, verse 20, he arose and came back to his father. Amen. And But here we go. Here's daddy's love. What does the Bible say? And when he was yet afar off. Amen. That's it, Mama Jerry. All right now. The Father's love. And when he was on his way. I'm done. I'm closing. Yes, Lord. When he was in route, Mama, back home. Uh-huh. To Daddy's house. Yes. When he had to snap. What these pigs. Number one, I ain't got no business feeding no pigs. Let's know getting ready to eat what they eat. When he came to himself, everything came back in order. And so much so, bless God, he came back in so much humility and humbleness, and that was the right way. That was the right way, because if he had came back all big and broad, he would have yeah, hey, man, yeah, I just thought I'd come on back. No, 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 no. Mama's too, because mama is daddy and mama nowadays. I can even go and get that. I got to cross that bridge, amen. Because y'all do the same thing, amen. Y'all know she wasn't ready. All right, now. Y'all know she wasn't ready for, you know, for the, you know, to go run out on her You know you wasn't ready, but you had to teach him a lesson. Can I get a witness? Yes. It, was, it, was, it was against everything in your heart, but you had to let him go. You had to let him learn. Can I get a witness? Yes. You had to say it's experience. Somebody say experience. Experience. Experience is the best teacher. And sometimes, yeah, you might have to let them go a little way, amen, outside your realm. But amen, because because you can do this and here's why you can do that. The Bible has told you you done as best as you could. Train up the child in the way it should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to cry one night. Because as long as you know you gave them God and put the word of God in them, you know that God is going to see to Imagination. 
Maybe sometime around, amen, every day before dusk came, Papa came to the edge of that gate and looked down the gateway and long down, and long down the road, trying to see if he saw him, uh, 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 trying to see if he saw a shadow coming up ahead. Go one day, one day, he looked down the road and he saw this feeble, this feeble frame, crippled and lame, barely making it down the road. And he looked and he knew what he saw. He saw and knew that was his son. The Bible says that the daddy ran. Can I get a witness? That the daddy ran to him. And that he fell on his neck. Hallelujah. And he wrapped his arms around him. Here go love. It's real love now. Because I know he stank. He was just feeding swine. His job was just feeding swine a little bit ago. Kind of get a witness. So you got trying to paint your picture. I'm really trying to paint your picture. He's stinking. He dirty. He ain't gonna look like something that walked up. But here he go. The real love of the parent. The parent knows his child. The parent knows their child. Beating with it is going to talk. Put his arms around him. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He loved him. Yes. As many would have rejected him. Yes. He loved him. Amen. Father's love, parent love, dirty, destitute, mm -hmm. all that had happened to him. But what did daddy do? Daddy's love fell on him. Yes. Yes. Wrapped him around his neck. Yes. Loved on him. Father's love. Amen. 
Thank God for the Father's love. How so? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Thank God for his love. Thank God for the price that was paid to set us free. Aren't you happy today for the Father's love? Aren't you glad that he loved us so much? That he was willing to give the ultimate sacrifice, which was his only beloved son. And as we stand today to get ready to go home, we want to reflect not only on it being Father's Day today, but we truly want to love and thank God for the Father who gave the ultimate Father's gift that one could ever give, the love of his son to redeem mankind from sin and destruction. I see, Mama. Lord, we love you for the price that you paid. Father, we thank you for sending him to pay the price. Father, we thank you for your love for us. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God keep you today. Amen. Could you please bring her and then have a good day when you leave here. Thank you, Mama B. <laughs> he back there on the table. He back there doing his thing. And we dismiss right here after that. After this. Amen. Happy Father's Day, God. <laughs>